the will to truth, which is to tempt us to many a hazardous enterprise, the famous truthfulness of which all philosophers have hitherto spoken with respect, what questions has this will to truth not laid before us? What strange, perplexing, questionable questions. It is already a long story, yet it seems as if it were hardly commenced. Is it any wonder if we, at last, grow distrustful, lose patience, and turn impatiently away? That this Sphinx teaches us at last to ask questions ourselves? WHO is it really that puts questions to us here? What really is this will to truth in us? In fact, we made a long halt at the question as to the origin of this will until at last, we came to an absolute standstill before a yet more fundamental question. We inquired about the value of this will. Granted that we want the truth, why not rather untruth? And uncertainty? Even ignorance? The problem, 